The summary of The Essays of Warren Buffett. Brought to you by Click Through College. Chapter 1 Corporate Governance. In the first chapter of The Essays of Warren Buffett Lessons for Corporate America, Buffett outlines his views on corporate governance, a topic he considers pivotal to the long term success of any company. He emphasizes the importance of the board of directors whose role is not just to rubber stamp the decisions of the CEO, but to act as a check on behalf of the shareholders, the real owners of the company. Buffett argues for the independence of the directors, advocating that they should not shy away from challenging management decisions when necessary. He believes that a strong board is one that asks tough questions, demands accountability, and ensures that the management's actions align with the shareholders' best interests. A key aspect of this alignment, according to Buffett, is the personal investment of the directors in the company's stock. He is a firm believer that directors should have a significant portion of their net worth invested in the company. This financial commitment, he argues, is the most effective way to ensure that the interests of the board are closely aligned with those of the shareholders. When directors are also shareholders, they are more likely to act in the best interests of the company and its owners. Buffett further warns against the over-reliance on consultants and advisors in board decisions. He cautions that the objectivity of consultants can be compromised due to their financial ties with the management. Instead, he encourages the board to rely on their collective wisdom, experience, and independent analysis. Chapter 2. Investing. Investing lies at the heart of Buffett's book, reflecting his extensive experience in this field. His principles of investing focus on understanding a company's business model and its intrinsic value. He emphasizes the need to purchase shares in high-quality businesses when the price is right, often encapsulated in the phrase, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. These insights offer valuable guidance for investors, emphasizing the importance of thorough analysis and patience. Chapter 3, Financial Analysis. In this chapter, Buffett explains his financial analysis approach dismissing traditional financial metrics as superficial and often misleading. Instead, he prefers to focus on owner earnings, a measure that combines net income, depreciation, depletion, and amortization, and then subtracts the necessary capital expenditures. This method, he believes, gives a more accurate depiction of a company's true economic position and its ability to generate value for shareholders. Chapter 4. Mergers and Acquisitions. Buffett shares his insights on mergers and acquisitions, revealing his preference for friendly acquisitions over hostile takeovers. He stresses the importance of maintaining existing management teams that have proven their abilities. The cultural and operational integrity of a business, he argues, is integral to its ongoing success. For investors and corporations, these insights illuminate the complexities of M&A transactions and the potential pitfalls to avoid. Chapter 5 Accounting and Valuation. Warren Buffett has long emphasized the importance of understanding accounting principles and interpreting financial statements accurately. He warns investors about relying solely on traditional accounting measures as these often fail to account for a company's intangible assets. These include elements such as brand reputation and intellectual property, which can significantly contribute to a company's value. Buffett also cautions against creative accounting practices that may mask a company's true financial position. He insists that an investor must dive deeper to uncover a company's intrinsic value. His insights provide a more refined perspective on valuation, going beyond the numbers to consider the intrinsic value derived from both tangible and intangible assets. Chapter 6. Stock Market. Buffett's philosophy views the stock market as a platform that enables investment into businesses rather than just a place for speculative trading. He often refers to the market as a voting machine, in the short term, where popularity drives prices, but in the long term, it is a weighing machine, where prices eventually reflect the fundamental value of companies. Investors should therefore focus on understanding the companies they invest in and their intrinsic value. Market forecasts, in Buffett's view, are largely futile and often distract investors from the fundamentals. His counsel is to treat market fluctuations as opportunities rather than risks. Chapter 7. Dividends. Buffett's pragmatic approach to dividends focuses on maximizing shareholder value. He maintains that companies capable of reinvesting earnings at high returns should do so, as this can significantly increase long-term shareholder value. 
On the other hand, companies unable to find high return opportunities should distribute earnings to shareholders in the form of dividends. This approach to dividends reinforces the principle of treating shareholders as true owners of the business. As an investor, understanding a company's approach to dividends can provide significant insight into its long-term growth strategy and its commitment to shareholder value. Chapter 8. Alternatives to Common Stock While Buffett is renowned for his investments in common stocks, he acknowledges the potential value in other investment types, such as preferred stocks, bonds, and convertible securities. Regardless of the asset class, Buffett applies the same stringent selection criteria. Understanding the business, its long-term economic prospects, and whether its price is reasonable compared to its intrinsic value. This chapter reinforces the idea that a strong investment philosophy remains consistent across different asset classes. Investors can benefit from this approach by gaining a more holistic perspective on diversifying their investment portfolios. Chapter 9. Common Stock as a Long-Term Investment Buffett's investment strategy advocates for a long-term perspective. His approach goes against the grain of trying to time the market, favoring the principle that wealth creation is about time in the market, not timing the market. The patience to hold on to an investment and the discipline to stick to one's investment principles are the keys to success in his view. He encourages investors to see themselves as part owners of the business rather than as mere stockholders. This perspective shifts the focus from short-term price movements to the long-term performance and health of the company. Buffett's philosophy underscores the importance of understanding and believing in the companies one invests in, forming the bedrock of successful long-term investing. Chapter 10. Mr. Market and Market Fluctuations. In this chapter, Buffett introduces the character of Mr. Market, an allegory that represents the day-to-day fluctuations of the stock market. Buffett argues that although Mr. Market's moods can swing irrationally, intelligent investors can exploit this erratic behavior to their advantage. The central lesson here is to ignore Mr. Market's daily price quotations and not let his mood dictate investment decisions. Instead, investors should focus on the intrinsic value of businesses, which ultimately drives long-term performance. Chapter 11. The Value of Honesty. Buffett holds honesty and integrity in high regard both as personal values and as essential factors for successful business practices. He warns against investing in companies lacking ethical standards, contending that these companies are likely to face damaging consequences eventually. This chapter serves as a powerful reminder that ethical considerations play a significant role in investment decisions. Buffett's philosophy asserts that honesty is not only morally right but also financially prudent. He affirms that businesses upholding high ethical standards are likely to enjoy sustained success and thereby deliver greater shareholder value in the long run. Chapter 12. Philanthropy and Giving Back. Buffett is a firm believer in using wealth for the betterment of society. He has pledged to donate the majority of his wealth to philanthropic causes. He suggests that the accumulation of wealth should not be just for personal gain but also for making a positive impact on society. This chapter provides a glimpse into Buffett's personal beliefs and how they shape his actions beyond his business activities. In conclusion, the Essays of Warren Buffett, Lessons for Corporate America, offers a comprehensive understanding of Buffett's investment philosophy, his views on corporate governance, financial analysis, and business ethics. It not only serves as a guide for investors but also provides insights for corporate leaders, accountants, and anyone interested in the world of business and finance. The book presents Buffett's wisdom in a way that is accessible and relatable, making it a valuable resource for both novices and experienced readers. Its enduring popularity attests to the timeless relevance of Buffett's insights and the widespread appreciation of his financial acumen. The Summary of The Essays of Warren Buffett